Good morning and welcome once again to our beautiful Carmel Mission Basilica. I am sitting here among the beautiful roses in our garden and I'm reminded that the beauty we experience in our natural world is, of course, our reflection of God's beauty and God's love for each one of us. And the care that we offer to the earth, of which we are stewards, is a reflection of a love that we are returning uh, to our Creator God. A uh, saint who truly felt connected uh, to the love of God was Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Teresa of Avila, also known as Teresa of Jesus. On Tuesday, we talked about Saint John of the Cross, who was a contemporary of uh, Saint Teresa and a fellow mystic and reformer of the Carmelite order. Uh, they were close friends uh, and uh, close, uh, close in, in their spiritual lives, uh, <clears throat> mentoring each other indeed. Today I would like to share a poem by St. Teresa that captures the joy and love she experienced in her relationship with God. <clears throat> St. Teresa was a 16th century noblewoman who felt called to the monastic life. She joined the Carmelite order and was deeply involved with the Counter-Reformation, uh, the Catholic response to the Protestant uh, Reformation that was taking place in Europe. She was a prolific author, and her seminal work, The Interior Castle, is considered an integral part of uh, Spanish Renaissance literature, as well as being a, a spiritual classic. She was a mystic, and her writings help uh, form the canon on Christian meditation practice and Christian mysticism. And she's had a profound influence on theologians and uh, philosophers, both within and without the Catholic Church. She said once of contemplative prayer, it is, in my opinion, nothing more than a close sharing between friends. It means frequently taking me to be alone with him who we know loves us. Beautiful. St. Teresa of Avila was a canonized saint in the church on, uh, in 1622, only 40 years after her death. She was declared the first female doctor of the church by uh, Pope Paul VI in 1970. Teresa had an intimate personal relationship with God and she often used the metaphor of watering one's garden when talking about prayer. And we see that intimacy here in one of her rare poems, Laughter Came From Every Brick. For her, God is not a remote figure or some sort of a, an intellectual idea. No, God is love. God is present and loving in her life, inviting her to a fullness of life in him that would enrich her and sustain her. In her writings, she encourages all of us to seek such a relationship with our loving God through prayer. She wrote, Laughter came from every brick. Just these two words he spoke changed my life. Enjoy me. What a burden I thought I was to carry. A crucifix, as he did. Love once said to me, I know a song. Would you like to hear it? And laughter came from every brick in the street and every pore in the sky. After a night of prayer, he changed my life when he sang, Enjoy me. As always, if you have any prayer requests, I invite you to send them to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to our, our mission website, carmelmission.org, and press on that uh, prayer request button, and we will be so happy to include them among our own prayers and daily masses. As always, I wish you and your loved ones continued blessings of good health, renewed hope, and uh, a greater love of God. Thank you.